So yeah, fear the O2 sensor from Kev in Australia to the Duke today. Many people raving about it on the forums, fixes all the stalling issues and the dodgy throttle response on the Duke. So fitted that today. Basically, it's just in line with the O2 connector. So pretty simple job the hardest part was doing up one cable tie um, so yeah after that set the throttle up by basically just turning it on putting it back once letting it go turn it off and that's all you gotta do with the throttle the other thing you have to do with it has to be completely freezing, not running for air. Well, it hasn't been running all day. So, perfect condition. And basically turn it on, leave it running without no throttle or anything. Just leave it to idle for 15 minutes. And, uh, yeah, that's just finished. And now I'm about to get on. And get the fuck out of here. So... Hopefully that's done the trick, and I'm going to be amazed. Let's go. The bike turns on, that's a start. Right, I've actually got it on the performance setting at the moment so this was the most jerky one so we'll see how it goes from here what the fuck you doing you can't if this thing stores now I'm gonna be fucking livid come on so yeah, I, I'm on my final straw this morning. Going along, stop obviously doing the filtrage. Got to the front of a massive fucking queue at the front of the traffic lights. Went to pull off, fucking thing stored. And then I tried to start it again. It wouldn't fucking start clutching in first wouldn't start I was like what the fuck is happening this usually just starts maybe I just look like a dick for a couple of seconds but it gets going and fucking on my way no wanted to be a little bitch didn't it sounded like the kickstand switch had got stuck because I changed it to neutral and it it started fine and typical, when I wanted to find neutral, stuck there in front of a bunch of fucking car wankers trying to find neutral. Could I find neutral? Could I fuck? So anyway, found neutral, got on my way. Going to work today. Had a look at it, cleaned it all out, the switch on the kickstand. <laughs> fucking degreaser, brake cleaner, fucking everything up in that bitch. Contact cleaner. Er, was pristine and anyway yeah seems to start in first now so even if I do stall again and this O2 mod doesn't work I'll look less of a cunt but still a cunt come on see it still seems to be jerky I don't know whether it's this fucking performance setting or what to be honest I don't mind I've got used to controlling the throttle with the jerkiness it, it was the stalling thing where it was running too lean and it would just fucking cut out like where was it last night got up to a roundabout quite busy roundabout by my house committed to actually going over the roundabout and the thing just cuts out just as I'm entering the roundabout and it comes to a roll and I'm fucking stuck there like an absolute cunt the fucking thing wouldn't start wow pissed off and that's when it started going 
doing the whole stalling and won't start in anything but neutral. I mean, before that it would start in if I had a clutch down in first, what whatnot, but that's fixed now due to that kickstand switch. But yeah, nothing worse than fucking getting to the front of a queue or whatnot, pretending you're the kitty. Yeah, I got a fucking bike. I make traffic disappear because I like to feel the thrill of the La Filtrage. Anyway, so, stored a couple of times and all I gotta say about that is, but did you live? Did you feel the store? Did you fuck? I'll be happy as a sandboy if this fucking thing don't store for a week. Yeah, I don't know if you watch me other videos, but got the Akropovic with the decat on and I decided it was a bit loud so I wanted to put a baffle in it so I put the KTM one in there uh, yeah that fucker blew straight at the fucking end don't know what happened there I lost it on the bypass somewhere anyway I ordered a new one off eBay anyway put that fucker on boom first ride out Sounded nice and quiet, and then BOOM! The fucker blew out on a dual carriageway again! Snapped the fucking bolt clean off, I do not know. There's some kind of fucking ultra beast unleashing from my engine. He's like, I will not be fucking quiet. I will not be tamed! I want to fucking kill you! And kill everyone else's eardrums in the process! In some ways, I was hoping that this thing did fuck up and it pissed me off that much. I just went out and bought the Super Duke. Oh yeah, and that thing would probably piss me off as well. It's always summer. Nothing's ever perfect. No matter how well you treat it, just like the missus. It always come to fuck you in the ass when you're not looking. Here it goes the filterage. Will I store when it turns green? Hmm. Let's test the theory. Let's see if this shit actually works. I cannot find a Ford, mate. I mean, how the fuck can you miss that white line? Car drivers, man. Hasn't stored yet. Feels good. Summit, summit feels better. Feels like it pulls off a lot smoother. Looks like fucking pile. Why, boy? I bet you could suck a golf ball through a garden hose. Let's go! Yeah, it feels... It feels a bit smoother through the red range as well. I like it. Come on, cunt. So obviously I've got to... give it a good, good trial before I say, yeah, th this works. It's the best thing ever. It's the best 80 quid I've ever spent. I hope it fucking is. Because I'm not returning this fucking thing back to Australia. Yeah. Oh, this dreaded fucking road again. Every day. Why did I move here? Jump, 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 jump around. Jump up, jump up and get down. Wow. I know it's only about six miles, but I fucking got home without stalling. It usually happens at least once. So, whether it's luck of the draw or because I've done that reset on the fueling, 
that idle 15 minutes God knows but it's looking good for now. Later, piggies!